listening to your country companion, WKVA. It's a little nippy out there, folks, just 43 degrees. And for those of you who are just getting home or maybe just getting up, the storm last night did a lot of damage. Roads out, trees down, and if you're using Route 123 to get to work this morning, the bridge over Makaho Creek was washed out again. Better take the bypass. Mom. What are you doing up so early? Bridge went out in the storm last night. Again? I'm not out of here in 30 minutes. I'll never make it to work by 8 o'clock. Traffic on alternate 60? It's going to be horrendous. I don't get it, Mom. I mean, why doesn't the county just get that bridge repaired once and for all? It's not in the current budget. And I, for one, am not going to stand by while the county council tries to raise my property taxes in order to do it. Well, how is it going to get repaired, then? I mean, government activities are paid for mostly by taxes. And if the government is going to do something new, like, like fix the bridge, then taxes would have to go up. I've got more pressing needs for that money right now than fixing the bridge. Such as? Such as food, clothing, paying the electric bill, phone bill, or getting the brakes on the car adjusted. Put that off long enough. This sounds like the debate I'm having with Steve Hollander in economics class next week. Jim Hollander's son? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> He's really cute, too. Don't get any funny ideas, Jean. Jim Hollander's chairman of the county council. So? So plenty. Jim Hollander and I, we don't see eye to eye on a lot of issues lately. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Steve doesn't know I'm alive. Good. Well, I've got to run. I'm late. Oh, by the way, council's meeting tonight, so you have to get your own supper. You gonna yell at Mr. Hollander? Probably. Hey, Steve. Gonna win the big game for us on Saturday? <laughs> Gonna try. All right. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi. Um, you got a minute? For me? Sure. Well, you know, we're supposed to be debating each other in economics next week. And I was wondering, where are you getting your information? Oh, I've been reading newspapers and books. I've got some good books out of the library. What about you? Well, I'm kind of taking all my dad's arguments and turning them around. You know, my father has some pretty strong feelings about taxes. My mom speaks for our district. She's been battling with your father over taxes for years. Yeah, I've heard. Well, she just thinks that people shouldn't rely so much on the government. Hey, you don't have to convince me of that. Maybe what I ought to do is go talk to your mom. <laughs> right, and I'll go talk to your dad. Yeah. Gene. Hi, Leslie. Your mom called the office and left a message. She said that you can pick up her car at work after school because she's got a ride home from the meeting tonight. Great. Thanks, Leslie. Bye-bye. Well, yeah. Hey, listen, why don't I give you a lift over to where your mom works? I'd like that. Okay. See you after school. Bye. I want these inventories collated and brought back to me in one hour. This should have been done yesterday. All right? I won't tell you again. Got my message. Yeah, thanks. Well, Mom, I want you to meet Steve Hollander. Pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Bailey. Steve, be careful driving home. I still haven't had the brakes checked, and alternate 60's a mess. See you later this evening. Something wrong with the brakes? Yeah, they're worn, I think. We haven't had enough money to get them looked at. Well, I'll look at them if you want. Uh, no, don't worry about it. We'll get them checked. Oh, why don't I lend you this book? It has a lot of stuff in it that might help you prep for the debate. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Well, I need to get a good mark on this debate. I'm sure you will. Well, thanks for the lift. Uh, Jean. Bye. Bye. An increase in local property taxes is for everyone's benefit, Mrs. Bailey, including yours. You don't have to preach to me, Jim. I've read the proposition. And the people in my district will be receiving less in public benefits than we are sacrificing in lost income. You people, you get salary increases at our expense. I have told you time and again, Caroline, we're not getting a salary increase. A small portion of this tax increase does, in fact, support the county offices. But the major part of these revenues will be used for the county police, emergency services, and highway maintenance, including the bridge over Mokaho Creek in your district. Oh, come on! This property tax increase goes way beyond helping the people in my district. Money you're asking us to spend buys a lot more for your part of the county than it does for ours. And it's been that way for the past 10 years. There are more people in my part of the county. And...
Look, Carolyn, I pay taxes too. This tax increase will hurt me just as much as it hurts you. But this increase is the only way to pay for the public services the people in your district need. We have a real basic disagreement here, Jim, because I don't think you know what the people in my district need. That's right. You're not being fair, Mother. You don't even know him. I don't have to. If he's anything like his father, he's impossibly patronizing and arrogant. You're just saying that because he disagrees with you. I don't like what he stands for. Well, you know, I hate to say it, Mom, but maybe Mr. Hollander has a point. That bridge out there needs to be fixed, and that's going to take a lot of money. It takes money to buy concrete and rocks and steel and hire workers. It sure does. It takes a lot of money to do anything nowadays. But where is it going to stop? Okay. How's school coming? Uh, good. We've got a big debate coming up in economics. Uh, Jean Bailey's helping me out with it. Carolyn Bailey's daughter? Yeah, she's in my econ class. She's really sharp and nice, too. So what are you debating? Oh, just something to do with taxes. You know how... If the government increases taxes, it'll reduce people's income so they'll have less money to buy things for themselves. Look, son, if people want more roads, hospitals, police, and other services, they have to be willing to pay the additional taxes. Well, sure, but look at all the taxes people already pay. I mean, there's federal income and social security taxes, and some states, counties, and cities have income taxes, and that doesn't even count state, county, and local property taxes or sales taxes. So what's your point? Well, that same money could be used to buy a lot of goods and services for private use. It seems like people would be a lot happier spending their money that way than giving it to the county. Now you're starting to sound like Carolyn Bailey. Couldn't you find someone else's daughter to be interested in? Yeah, well, I get a study deck. In summation, Mr. Hollander, taxes do pay for a lot of government goods and services. Federal taxes are used to pay for national defense and also pay for social security benefits. Unless you're suggesting that we're going to pay for our own army. That's not what I meant. What I meant was an army. <laughs> or our own retirement. Because if you are, we better start saving now. Now, what about state, county, and local taxes? The main services they're used to pay for are public education, health and welfare services, police and fire protection, and building roads and highways. Or am I to assume we're going to buy our own fire trucks and build our own roads? No, I never said there shouldn't be any taxes. Providing these services takes resources, and resources cost money. There's no way around it. If you want more of these services, you have to pay more taxes in order to get them. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Taxes pay for government goods and services, but the money you pay in taxes could also be used to buy private goods and services for yourself. Like a new set of brakes, for example. Now, before you agree to a tax increase, ask yourself, is what I'm going to get from the government worth what I'm going to have to give up? But there are some things that people can't do for themselves. Take national defense, for example, or take highways. Ms. Bailey. I listen. Now you listen. Look, in summation, what I've been saying is that no one says there shouldn't be some taxes. But the question is, how do the benefits of additional taxes compare with what we have to give up to pay these taxes? Thank you. Hey, you work great. Who are you? Yeah, I think I really pulled it off thanks to you. Hey, listen, why don't we go out tonight and celebrate? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Hey, listen, Jean, I think what's going on between our folks is nuts. And I want you to know I'm not my father. I know. OK, let's go out. <laughs> All right, what time? Um, I don't know. I'll give you a call later. OK, great. <laughs> Hello, Steve. It's Jean. Yeah. The date's still on. Oh, no, don't come pick me up here. Why don't I come get you? Yeah. I'll be there in half an hour. Okay, bye.
Can I borrow the car? I want to go out for a little while. Where are you going? Just to see a friend. All right, but don't be too long. Okay, Mom. Repeating an earlier bulletin, there are flash flood warnings in effect for tonight throughout the entire area. Jean? It could get up to two inches of rain, so don't go out. If Is she? Dad, what time is it? 9.05. What's the matter? Hello, Jean? Steve Hollander? No, she left here over two hours ago. She was. And you haven't heard from her. Okay, I'll wait right here by the phone. Thank you. You're sure she'd come this way? That's the only road she could take. She has to be here somewhere. Oh, no. went off the road on alternate 60. But the paramedics checked her over, and she's all right. I'm sorry, Mom. The brakes just gave, and the car skidded. They're having her car towed over to Nielsen's garage, Carolyn. I hope that's OK. Fine, that's fine. The important thing is she's all right. Yes, that's all that matters. I want to thank you, Jim. Your son, you too, officer. I guess I owe you all an apology, ma'am. Well, you know what they say about help never being around when you need it? I guess in this case, it just wasn't true. And Jim, I think it's about time we got that bridge fixed.